Uh, as I mentioned, Ruslan Kogan, very successful young Australian entrepreneur. He's today blasted the government for their handling of the set-top box scheme. Now, you're probably aware of the, the idea to help uh, some Australians who are unable to help themselves with this new digital television um, broadcasting. They, that is the government, agreed to give people a, a set-top box. Uh, nice thought, good idea. Except that if you read the Australian today, you realise that the set-top box is reported to be uh, costing about $700. $700. Now, Minister uh, Senator Conroy denies that that number is accurate, but nonetheless, the odds, I think, justify the figure pretty well. The initial cost was meant to be $350. So $700. And you can buy these things for a lot less than that. Let's get Rosalind Cogan on the line and see what his thoughts are. How are you going, mate? G'day, Luke. How are you? I'm, I'm well. Good. good to talk to you again. This, uh, g- given given what you have on your site and the the cost, the affordability of your products, you must want to rip your hair out to think that the government's paying seven hundred bucks for a set top box compared to what they actually cost. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, mate, it's unbelievable. When we saw the news this morning, we were outraged. And oh, it's like, h- how do you explain it? A product that costs $39 um, is <laughs> like the government The government sticks their claws in and all of a sudden it's just blown out to $700. As a case of gross misuse of taxpayer money, this is it, you know. It's yeah. a, for seven hundred bucks on our site, you could get a fifty-five inch LED with built-in PVR, SRS sound, all all the gimmicks and features, and you know that includes a fifty-five inch LED. How are they doing a thirty-nine dollar product for seven hundred bucks? I've got absolutely <laughs> no idea. Well, today in the Parliament, Tanya Plibersek, when talking about the. Uh, private health insurance rebate. She made this statement, and I listened to it, and I said earlier, I think uh, Tanya Plibersek presents well. I don't always agree with her arguments on things, but she made this statement. And she knows that every dollar, every taxpayer's dollar we raise has to be spent in the best and most effective way. And the problem is, <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, mate, and you know this better than anyone else, that we all have to do that. You as a business person have to do that. We as punters that try and live and uh, week to week and get by, we have to do that. Everyone has to do that except for a government that buys a $39 set-top box and ends up paying 700 for it. Yeah. Mate, as a private enterprise, we shop around when we're buying apples for our office and we'll take the the cheapest ones we can get. And we're always looking for a deal on absolutely everything. How the government can claim that they spend all the money wisely and then they've gone off and they're paying 700 bucks for something that should cost $39, I've got no idea. I know they're not the most efficient organisations out there, (laughs) but we're talking paying nearly 20 times the amount that something should cost. And I could understand a few of their inefficiencies. You know, a few people stayed past 5 p.m., so they've got to pay a bit of flexi leave. They had a few long taxi rides to some notorious establishment, so they put that on the government card. You know, we need to factor all of these things in. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it shouldn't cost 20 times as much as another comparable product. No. So yeah. to think about the number of projects they've got going on at any time and the amount that they're taxing, uh, Aussies, it's, you know, where's all of this money going? What are uh, they spending it on? I'll tell you what it does, mate. It, it puts a, a spotlight very nicely on that alleged $70 billion black hole. You could find that in uh, in a couple of hours, given the way they spend money. But I'll make this point to you. And I've got a real thing about governments trying to reinvent the wheel. Why we just don't find the best model and just do it and cut through all the other rubbish. But I'm sure they had, when they had this scheme, some smart, government employees who sat around and did some numbers they should have sat you and two or three other respected electrical retailers in a room and said boys how do we make it happen and you blokes together would have got this done and it would have been affordable why don't governments do the bloody obvious and use the models at work and tap into homegrown experts it's got me beat mate yeah You've got me too. I've got no idea. It's baffled us all day today. 
and it's just it's just outrageous you know we're doing everything we can on a daily basis to save our customers a few bucks here and there and then we see millions of dollars being thrown around like this it's crazy it is crazy always good to chat thanks a lot mate cheers take care Rosalind Kogan CEO of Kogan.com.au